Growing up with my family, it was definitely a lot of structure. I like to tell the story to a lot of my friends. It just, uh, I think I got my curfew raised after my freshman year of college. Even after that, I still had to be back in the house before 12. I was in the U.S. Army 22 years, four months and 11 days. My husband was in the Army. He was an infantryman, and he was in for 10 years. I was a drill sergeant right here at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and I was a drill sergeant right here in my own home. Sometimes my husband would say, uh, take that drill sergeant hat off, leave it at the door, don't walk in here with that drill sergeant hat on. But it was a, a lifestyle. If it wasn't done the right way, there were going to be consequences. OK, get down there and give me 10. OK, get down there and give me 15. We had a timeline on everything. At 6 o'clock when you wake up, this is what you're going to do. By 8 o'clock, we want this done. I see him as a trooper. That is the one thing that Juwan has taken from our military background. The structure that we had in the household was would be a big part of his leadership now. OG, he takes it in, lays it up for there. Last year, we had people like James, Thomas, OG to where I could be in the shadows as far as the offensive end. But this year, I really have to be at the forefront of things and uh, really make something happen. He does play with a different demeanor this year. Morgan, over Bostic in the foul. More of a, an attack mindset, and I think that Jawan really raised his level and, and wanted to be one of the guys on the team. Morgan with the hammer. I think as the season has progressed and against our toughest games, I think Juwan has shown he's one of the best players in the Big Ten.